Rise of P, like many Souls likes, is riddled with difficult hurdles to jump through. And that's why we've put together a list of rapid fire tips to hopefully help your puppet save craft. And you know what? You can have these tips with no strings attached. One of the most efficient ways to take out weaker enemies is by dodging towards their attack and maneuvering around their back to backstab them for massive damage. Don't forget to restore your weapon's durability with the grinder when you're out of combat. Letting a weapon's durability fall to zero is one of the worst things you can do as the weapon's damage will decrease and you won't be able to restore it with the grinder anymore. You'll have to take it back to Eugene at Hotel Krat to repair it. It's risky, but one of the best ways to deal with tough enemies is perfect parrying their attacks repeatedly until their life bar turns white. When it's white, that's your cue to hit them with a charged heavy attack to stagger them, opening them up to an extremely damaging fatal attack. Charge attacks and fable arts also cause this staggered condition. Don't use your rare ergo fragments to level up right away. There's a vendor that accepts them as payment for awesome weapons or amulets later on. It can be worthwhile going into a boss fight a few times without summoning the specter. Use the attempts to learn a few of the attack patterns and save yourself the star fragments to use once you've got a better understanding of what you're up against. If you're stuck on a boss later in the game, consider making use of the Perfection Grindstone. This grinder option lets you automatically perfect parry every attack for a brief time. If you're down to your last pulse cell, it often can be worth just using it up even if you're only missing a sliver of health. With pulse cells depleted, you can gain access to a variety of buffs dependent on your equipped ambulance and P organ upgrade choices. Not only that, you'll automatically begin recharging your last pulse cell with each successful attack, so you should regain that last heal in no time. If you often default to dodging attacks instead of blocking them, keep your weight below 60%. Increasing your weight will slow your dodge. Higher weight also means slower movement speed and stamina recovery. Don't freak out to kill the dimensional butterflies if you're already in a stressful situation. You can always come back and get them later after using a stargazer. Change out your defense parts on the fly when facing a particularly difficult enemy. Other than keeping track of your weight, there's no deficit to quickly making some changes to your liner to counter their type of physical attack or changing to a different converter to slow a particular status ailment. The way you attack is mostly determined by what handle you're using. Altering a handle will allow you to slightly change the attack abilities. Only once, however, and the materials needed are fairly limited. You can attach nearly any blade to a handle that you like, so spend some time trying out different handles on the dummies before altering them. The amount of damage you block is determined by your weapon's blade. The better damage reduction rates usually come with a higher weight, so be prepared to invest in capacity if you plan on staying nimble while blocking effectively. Though a very minor spoiler, if you're struggling to click with your chosen build, there is an option to respec that eventually becomes available. You can find the Saintus of Mercy statue within the Grand Exhibition. For a small but incrementally increasing cost, you can refund your ergo and level up into other abilities that better suit your playstyle. You can also reset your P-Organ and Legion arm choices here too. Legion Caliber, the item needed to modify your Legion arm, is fairly hard to come by. Be sure to pick a Legion arm that fits your style of play and chosen abilities before investing in one. Like we mentioned before, you can respect these choices at the Saintus of Mercy statue, but for a price. With these tips, we hope you'll be puppeteering your way through Krat in no time. For more on Lies of P, we've pulled some strings to get you a full walkthrough on our wiki. And for everything else, make sure to keep it here on IGN.